we've talked about three types of investments so far. One is that simple interest investment. And that came in two types. Both of them were pretty simple. We started out with a principal at the beginning. So some beginning value. And we ended up with some sort of maturity value, an ending value. And there was simple interest notes where we had a, a face value, which was that principal. And then there's interest that was calculated, I equals PRT, and that was added in at the end to give us a maturity value that was equal to that principal plus the interest. And we also had a simple discount note. Where that face value was actually the ending value. And the Interest was still I equals PRT. But it was calculated from that face value to give us a discount. It was subtracted out, and what was given actually to the, the borrower was something called the proceeds. But both of those had in common was the interest was calculated out once. Either the interest was calculated at the end of the note and added in to get maturity, or it was calculated at the beginning of the note and subtracted out to get the proceeds. The next thing we talked about then was compound interest. In compound interest, we had a present value. And there was some sort of future value. And in between, we had compound interest. And that interest was added in at the end of every period. And of course, the next period, you had interest on top of the interest. That's why it's called compound interest. And that gave us a compound interest factor of 1 plus r over n to the power of n times t. But you'll notice here there was only one payment in. Money could only go in at the beginning. And only one drawing out. At the end, there were no payments in or out during that term. Which brings us to what we're going to talk about next, which is an annuity. An annuity has a present value and a future value. Well, either it has a zero value to start, I should say, and we're going up to some future value, and we are paying in at regular intervals along that timeline. And at each point that there's a payment in, there's also an interest calculation. There's compound interest going in along with those payments at the end of every period. This is what's referred to as the accumulation phase of an annuity.
In the accumulation phase, the beginning balance is zero and we build up to some future value. There's a similar timeline where we have a present value and it's going to be drawn down to a zero balance at the end. And there's drawing or withdrawals coming out in regular intervals at the end of each period. There's still compound interest going in. This is what's referred to as the liquidation phase, sometimes called the drawing phase of an annuity. So the big distinguishing factor here, again, is not only is there interest going in on a regular basis, but there's also either withdrawals coming out or payments going in. Whereas in all of our previous examples, there was a single payment in at the beginning and a single draw out at the end. Obviously, we had those partial payments for things, but it wasn't a regularly scheduled payment like it is going to be in these annuity calculations. So we'll come back and we're going to look closer in the next video on our accumulation phase of an annuity.